What's up everybody? This is Ben here with the Point Bob Patrol. Just got back home today with the car. I uh, went back to the shop fairly early this morning to button things up and clean up the uh, disaster area. It was a long day yesterday. Um, 13 and a half hours in and out. And uh, that's because we had to swap over all the all the VTEC rockers and all that mess since um, I only opted to go. I, I bought a stock cylinder head from Four Piston sent them the Ferreira valves, valve springs, and uh, retainers that I bought, had them install it. Don't really trust any machine shops in my area. Um, so I had them take care of that. Uh, they sent it back to me, but everything had to be assembled in that head. Man, that took some time. But um, luckily, uh, my buddy Tim was there to help. Uh, he's, a, he's a master technician, knows what he's doing, um, and it would not have gotten done in a day uh, had he not been there. But I also had the help of uh, several, several other folks in the business that are really good friends of mine. Um, uh, you know, won't call out their names for privacy's sake. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video too, but, um, I just want to caution you. There is a, there is some shop talk and in the shop, we don't necessarily, you know, uh, mind our manners and, and, and say the best things all the time. Um, so probably some harsh language. Um, I'll do my best to edit, but at the same time, you're just going to hear it. So if you don't want to hear it, don't watch the video. Um, Drove the car home. Uh, first impressions were that it's got a little bit more of a growl to it uh, than the factory engine had. I can't really describe it. It's just got, it seems like a little more throat. I can tell you that the 271 Kuro is definitely an active turbo. Granted, right now I can only shift at 4,000 RPMs. I'm going right back through the, uh, the braking process. So, um, you know, just one of those things. Uh, and I cannot wait to to unlock those upper RPMs in five or six hundred miles. Uh, car's got seventeen hundred miles on it now, so at about twenty three hundred, I'm going to be giving it beans, and uh, and likely looking at some tune revisions. Uh, thank you to Jester Tune for the base tune uh, that it's currently running on right now. Um, just a, a brief list, and this is just what I remember right now. I've got the 271 Kuro Turbo on this thing. I've got the XDI fourteen hundred CC injectors. I've got an XDI. Uh, fuel pump, um, Ferreira, valve springs, valves, uh, retainers and locks, uh, Viton valve seals. Um, it's a four-piston short block, so that's got the Wysoco pistons, four-piston I-beam rods, ACL race bearings. Um, I'm on stock exhaust, stock downpipe, stock intercooler, stock boost hoses, um, so really not, you know, super huge changes, um, except for a very beefy bottom end that can handle quite a bit of power, which I intend to exploit the hell out of at the track just for fun, just to see what it can do. So, um, you know, here's the car. I just got done washing it a little while ago because uh, it was absolutely filthy. It had been sitting uh, out in the parking lot for a week uh, because I had sent out the ECU to have it unlocked. Uh, by Derek up at uh, Innovation uh, Innovate Motorsports. Um, so big thanks to to everybody that that helped bring this all together. Um, huge shout out to Two Step Performance. That's where I sourced all of my parts. Um, huge shout out Four Piston for for helping me out um, with the with the machining, getting me that cylinder head. They had that uh, they had everything back to me really within a week. So not a lot of downtime for us uh, us guys that that need to, to get out to the track and, and can't really afford a whole bunch of downtime. Um, so feel free to ask questions, um, definitely like and subscribe, and uh, obviously there will be more videos in the future uh, when I'm actually able to let this thing stretch its legs, so to speak. So um, as of right now, again, it's just in its break-in period. Um, oh, break-in oil. Uh, I went with the uh, the four piston recommended braking oil. It's called Driven. It's a five weight 30 high zinc content. Um, as far as with the assembly, I covered everything in Molly Lube as best I could. Four piston also does not recommend priming the engine uh, before starting. So what I did, I'd go off accessory to on. I did that several times just to prime the low pressure fuel pump before an actual starting attempt was made. And the very first start, it did fire right up, um, but then it bogged out and died. We got right in touch with Jester Tuned. He set me straight and uh, helped direct me to the vacuum hose that I completely neglected to plug in. Uh, once, I, uh, once I got that fixed, the car runs perfect now. Uh, 
it, it finds idle exactly where it's supposed to be. You really can't tell that there's that big of a difference. So, um, you know, more to come on all of that. So enjoy the rest of the video.